and welcome flip clock fans to this unboxing of this wex clocks fm am digital clock radio it is a model number 80132 and uh, we have an open mic today because well got the windows open the cats uh enjoying the weather i've got a clock that's getting ready to go off as far as the chiming and all that stuff but that's just part of the thing you're going to hear flipping all around me because we've got of course we've got many clocks in flip clock fan studios and uh, they're flipping away. So I'm not going to do a voiceover. I'm just going to do this with you today together. We're going to look at this. And here we go. So that is my, what you're hearing is my um, Seth Thomas uh, chime clock. And that's what kind of got me started on this kick of Seth Thomas and West clocks. Because they are of the same family. And... All the research I've done, I started looking more at Seth Thomas clocks and and uh, West clocks clocks. More, I have more Seth Thomas than any other kind of clock as far as the uh, general time clocks or um, general time or what's called the Tally Industry Company. They uh, there's a, I've got a whole video out about what Tally Industries meant to this company, what it ended up doing to this company. I'd hope you consider looking at that at some point. But anyway, here we are. We're looking at this West Clocks. Now, what's what's the deal about this West Clocks? Well, first of all, they didn't do a lot of what they call flip leaf digital clocks. In fact, I think this is the only um, flip clock radio that they made. They had these other kinds of um, displays, and they used the tape, the their tape. It's proprietary to them. They were really pushing that, and you just don't see those anymore either. I don't think they went over really well, and I, they probably didn't last that much. So what's the deal with this one? Is it worth anything? Um, is it worth to have? Well, personally, someday I'd like to get this to somebody who collects West clocks because I don't. I tend to be, tend. I tend towards more of the smaller clocks. For example, uh, this this West clocks. Uh, I like this. Uh, this has been running since. Um, since I did the video on it, this is the one I changed to the green light. Um, it is one of their their few flip clocks. They use an uh, interesting mechanism. Again, you've probably seen videos on that. That's kind of what got, what got me on this kick. But I saw this and I thought, this is rare because you don't see a flip clock radio from West Clocks that has a real flip clock mechanism. So we're going to look at this together and see what we think about it. Let me see all the specifications here. And as you can hear, we do have the open mic going, and there is a storm coming through on this Sunday. Okay, and in our box here, we have our little manual, kind of flimsy. FM, AM, digital clock radio. Tells you how to use and not abuse your clock. Nothing much going on here. So, is it a new inbox? Well, that's what they advertised it for, and I, uh, I do believe that's what we got. And it makes me wonder if it's even ever been opened up. You know, you see you see on, on eBay, I know you've seen it, they'll say, oh yeah, they'll say uh, new inbox, all that stuff, and you know they've put it back in the plastic. And they take pictures of it in the plastic like that's going to really that'll convince me but um, I'm looking here and I'm seeing this tape this is aged tape and it looks like we have a true new in box and we're just trying to preserve the plastic situation as best we can again I may want to get this to someone else who's into West Clocks. I don't read that as me going to give it away. Uh, sometimes I've said that. I've had people say, well, I'll take it. <laughs> I bet I bet you would take it. Uh, okay, so, yeah, look at that. What's my impression? Well, you can see that the quality of, of the plastics here, uh, not, not really top-notch there as far as the production. Oh, there. Now, look at that. You know what that is? 
that's the cord the cord was touching those cords will melt into the plastic there's something about the chemicals in the cord versus this plastic and evidently that was touching just enough to scar it up breaks our heart when that happens so there we go we've got a west clocks 80132 now if you look at the catalog that's when i first saw this um i'll show a few pictures of that um, while i'm talking it came out in 77 and 78 and it that's about it i can't find it in the newspapers i don't think they were really wanting to push this that much again you look at the quality here uh oh another cord or something it ate into that but you, but you can look at the quality here and it's just not there the, qu the quality of manufacture is just not there so where was it made hong kong so oh it gets better now if you look here at the what what they call the flip leaves we've got something going on there oh boy what is that well i'll tell you what i'll tell you what that is well let me see if i can put it to you this way when i was a kid in school all the kids had the cool shoes uh, nike was actually just coming out uh, or getting really popular converse of course were still popular i got my shoes from kmart now <laughs> hey listen uh, and everybody let me know that. Uh, oh, one year. Oh, it was great that year. Mom ordered it through the catalog of Montgomery Ward. Um, oh, man. Uh, I mean to tell you, it was rough being a poor kid. Uh, they let us know. The, the rich kids let you know that you did not have the cool shoes. Um, evil, evil bastards. Uh, it, it's, it, it reminds me of like when Christmas came around when I was a kid. I thought, uh, well, look at that, you know, Santa Claus, he gets the rich kids really good toys, and he gets the poor kids crap, and I thought, that Santa Claus is a jerk. Um, didn't take me long to realize there was no Santa Claus. I figured that out pretty quick. So so what's going on with that? Look at that. Look at that nonsense. Okay, so we, why was I talking about Kmart? Okay, so this is the Kmart of flip clocks now the funny thing is i shouldn't say that because some of the kmart flip the kmart flip clocks that you'll find are actually better than this but as far as the what we think uh what we people in flip clock world think of these kind of mechanisms not much uh it is a flip clock and no offense if you collect these but uh i'm not mean flip clocks i mean this type of mechanism uh, i don't think there's many people who do that so what is that it's a Hong Kong type mechanism, and it's very common in uh, Kentec. Now, Kentec flip clocks are the Kmart of flip clocks. Uh, sorry if you've got one. I've got a couple. Uh, evidently, now I've got another w mechanism of a Kentec, Kentec type mechanism. They are, they're not, as you can see, it's doing this weird thing. And I would, I bet if I plugged it in, it would straighten itself out a little bit as far as the digits being off like that but you can see uh, they must have thought it was genius so instead of having like your well this would probably be a better example just one i can grab on here um, instead of having oh look at the difference so instead of having the minutes digits um, on one tile they thought, well, hey, we'll just be different and we'll separate it out. So we'll have the minutes and the tens on different tiles. And you can see what that's led to. Now, another thing, the, the, the whole backs on these are just plastic. And it, you know you know what happened? You know what has just happened right in front of your eyes? This is how terrible these mechanisms are. I started flipping this. And you can see they're not lining up. And they did exactly what always happens to these things. The hold backs, let me see if you can see that. The holdbacks are these terrible little pieces of plastic, and they fail. And obviously, right in front of your eyes here, two have failed immediately. So, um, so what do you think? Uh, I spent more money than I should have for this clock. Now, can I go in there and fix that? Absolutely, I'm going to go in there and fix that. But it just it just shows you 
uh, maybe not for a while. I'm kind of disappointed in this, really disappointed. Um, it shows you what happens to those Kentech mechanisms. You'll get a Kentech, and you'll almost always see them on eBay kind of cockeyed like that, and that's because they've already broken those tabs off. That can be fixed. You can either get the same tabs back on there. There's other ways, uh, just something to hold back the tiles. So, oh, my. So what? what what's our conclusion here? Well, hmm. This is crap, man. Um, and their tape system would have, of course, been better than this. Um, but I never did like their tape system. So we've got a, a really, a really nice piece of crap right here. But uh, it's got history because it is a West Clock. So it's probably their only West Clock uh, flip clock. And uh, goodness gracious, man, it's it's so rough. I might even give it away if someone could convince me they really needed it for a collection. Um, you got to really convince me, though. Anyway, I'm gonna probably, I'm gonna probably put this right back where I found it, put it in a box, and uh, maybe someday work on it. So, wow, I did not expect to have this kind of a um, a review, um, uh, but there it is. Uh, what a disappointment! But you know, that's part that's part of flip clocking, I guess. Well, there it is. You can feel sorry for me if you like. I, I, so you don't need to though because I feel sorry for me, myself enough anyway hey thanks for taking the time